won't happen right away. Slowly, steadily, surely, the time approaches when the vision will be fulfilled. It, says, it talks about slowly, steadily, surely, the time approaches when the vision will be fulfilled. And he continued to say, it seems slow. Do not despair. For these things will surely come to pass. Just be patient. They will not be overdue a single day. They will not pass a single day. So the perfect timing of God is so important. Even if we want things to happen, let's not be, let, let, let's not be in a hurry. Let's wait upon God. Things will not happen in our timing. However much we may want God to fulfill, we will depend on God's perfect timing. We will depend upon the appointed time of God. God created us for a purpose. And he knows what we need, we need when. We are his work, workmanship. He did not just create us. To be on earth, he created it for a purpose and he knows the timing of whatever he wants us to do. He knows the timing of our visions, dreams and aspirations. So we need to wait upon God's perfect timing or the appointed time for that matter. Do you know God created time and rules over it? The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It is God who created, you know, the earth. He also created at the light time. So he knows what he is doing. God operates on eternal calendar. Eternal calendar. The Bible says in Psalms 90, verse number 1 and 2, Lord, through all the generation, generations, you have been our home. Before mountains were created, before the earth was formed, you are God without beginning or the end. God is outside time. He actually operates on an eternal corridor. Hallelujah. So there is no amount of delay that would ever destroy God's plan. He has good plans for you. Plans for your future. So he's, here he's talking about timing. When God talks about your future, or my future, he's talking about timing. So we have to wait, you know, upon uh, the perfect timing of God. However much we would want things to happen, they will not happen. They, they will not happen within our time. We need to allow God to do them in his own time. Because there is no amount of delay. Actually, we see, we see delays everywhere. From our eyes, from our perception, we see dry delays. But according to God, you know, they may not be delays. Because he is waiting for his perfect timing. The Bible says in the Galatians 4, verse number 4 to 5, it says, But when the set time and full, uh, you know, had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption, adoption to sonship. Yes, when the time you know, when they said time for it came. So when the appointed time for it came, God sent his son. When the perfect timing of God reached, that is the time he sent his son. God has a, his own timing. God does not do things the way we do them. Neither does he see things the way we see them. Even as we wait upon God, we need to understand that the timing of God 
is the most important. That is the appointed time of God. You and me, even as we pray, even as we wait upon this God, I urge each one of us, let us not despair. Hallelujah. Let us not despair. Because when the time of God comes, then things will happen. Hallelujah. So therefore, when you are waiting upon God, do not learn ahead of God. That is my advice to us. Psalms 27, part number 14 says, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart. And wait for the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah? So we need to look for God's purpose in any kind of delay. Because every time we are seeing delay, from our eyes, from our perception, we see delay. But from God's point of view, he sees, he is waiting for the appointed time, which is actually perfect. Hallelujah. Divine delay there is something we would call divine delay, which is a, a process where God is growing, training, and building and molding you to move to the next stage of your life. In other words, hmm, God uses divine delay mm -hmm, to prepare us, to build us, hallelujah, to, to build us so that we will be ready for the next stage. He prepares us, hallelujah, and that is what we would call divine delay. God is doing that. It is not de de denial. It is not denial. It, it, God has not denied your request. It is just a delay. And that kind of delay is where God preparing you for the task that is ahead of us. I know at times it becomes very discouraging, but I'm coming to us today eh, to bring this to us. You need to understand that uh, even things may be overwhelming, but whatever happens, we have to wait for, the, for God's perfect timing. Because when that time comes, the Bible says, there will be no delay. When the, that perfect time comes, eh, it will not tally. It will not tally when that time comes. So we need to be a people who wait upon God. Amen. Amen. So there are things, you know, God might delay his answer because you are not ready to receive it. That is one. I'm talking about why, why there is divine delay. Number one, God might be delaying his answer because you are not ready for it. Because there is a perfect, there is that perfect timing of God. The Bible says in Philippians 1 and verse number 6, And I am sure of this, that he who began the good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Christ. So there's the day of Jesus Christ. We need to know that while delay may be frustrating or even confusing or even overwhelming. Hallelujah. You need to know that God is working behind scenes to accomplish his will. To accomplish his will. You will not see his hand at work. But you can trust his promises are true. So my brother, my sister. It doesn't matter whether that fish should tarry. It doesn't matter where that prayer tarries. You need to understand that God is doing something behind the scenes to accomplish whatever you need from him. And that's why we need to continue praying without ceasing. Praying and waiting upon this God. Number two, God might be protecting you from something harmful from something very harmful. And that's why these delays come. He is a father. He knows what we need when. He is our creator. He knows when to accomplish our dreams because we are in his hands. His, our future or our destiny is in his hand. So God might be protecting you from something harmful. And that's why 
he brings this kind of delay. Psalms 3 and verse number 3, the Bible says, But you, O Lord, I assured about me my glory and the lifter of my hand. He is a lifter of your hand. Sometimes he is delaying some things so that even delaying some promises so that you will not enter into a, a something harmful. He knows everything about everything. He knows the people and places and things, you know, and happenings all over the world. And that's why he is delaying at times so that he will protect you from entering into a, a harmful situation. Remember that all his plans are good. That's what he says. Number three, we're talking about divine delays. Number three, God might be delaying his answer because of his timing, because of his perfect timing. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 and verse number 8, for your thoughts are not, for, 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 let me repeat, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. God's timing is always perfect. He is in full control of all things at all times and all places. So let's wait for his timing. Even as we continue praying, you know, and, and trusting God, you know, for our visions, for our, for our dreams, <clears throat> you know, even to answer our prayers, remember, delay is no denial. It is just a delay. And when especially a divine delay, it is very healthy. So let's be a people who wait upon the Lord. He might be delaying because of his perfect timing. Hallelujah. Number four, God might be delaying his answer to grow your faith. He looks at, at you. He knows how much faith you have. He knows whatever you need, whether you have enough faith even to receive it or to sustain it. Hallelujah. James 1 and verse number 2. Count all, you know, count, you know, count everything as joy. Mm -hmm. When you pass through trials of any kind, for you know the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. So let us wait upon upon God's perfect timing. Amen. Number five, yeah, God might be delaying his answer to your prayer in order, you know, to give you a new direction. He knows he is the one who directs us. We need, in fact, the Bible says that he, that our steps, yeah, the, or the steps of a righteous man are directed of the Lord. He delays so that he can get you to where you want to go. And that's why there are divine delays that come upon our lives. And we need to understand that God is the one who is directing our steps. Amen. So divine delays, you know, prepare us. They prepare us for our, for our destiny. So expect God in anything that you're waiting upon God. Expect him to come through. He will surely come through. He will surely come through. However, his perfect timing is very important. God has a timetable for everything that is very, very important. Yes, he gives, and, and, and God, when he, at, at times, he will never give you details. He will never give you details like he did for a person like Abraham. He calls Abraham, and he, he gives a promise, but he does not give uh, the timing. He does not even give the, you know, the, the details. So God will not continue to give you details. But when the times come, when the time comes, he will bring that whatever you need as a package, and you will enjoy yourself. So may God help us, even as we continue waiting for his for God's perfect timing, for our miracles, for God's perfect timing of our visions and, 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 and dreams, because God is not a liar. He's, he is not a liar. He is a promise keeper. 
you know he is a good god and he will he, his timing is so important so we need to understand even as we wait upon this god we need to not to fret fret not fear not faint not trust god you know he will surely bring your dream come to pass your vision come to pass he will answer your prayer do not worry amen the bible talks so much about a worry let us not worry let us trust upon god and in his own perfect timing we shall receive the answer to our prayer our vision shall be accomplished hallelujah let us faint not let us quit not don't give up my brother wait upon god's perfect timing shalom